I wasn't expecting that. This, that sauce is beautiful. Not even worth it to be honest. I'm too scared. Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband Ben. Indonesia! Hi guys, welcome back. We're on tour of Dredges and this is our Indonesian series. We're in Menteng, one of the most wealthiest areas here in Jakarta, and we're gonna try some of the best snacks. So let's start with breakfast. It's very weird being up at this time in the morning because it's a lot more calmer and it's a lot more like nicer, and the weather is like really pleasant today. It's got like a nice cool breeze so it's not too hot but this is literally just a street marker around the corner from us oh, cool. Right, we're starting the day right. We've got a traditional Indonesian breakfast. We've got baba ayam. Right, so it's a rice congi topped with shallots, roasted nuts, and shredded chicken. I'm gonna go in and try it. You also put some chili sauce on there as well. You asked me how much, but you know. The biggest surprise is when you get that porridge, you expect, you expect it to be bland, whereas this, this rice congi is really, really salty, but in a good way. So I'm making a face behind the camera because the rice congi reminds me of rice pudding and I've got like a fear of it. When I was little, I tried like thinking I liked it and all that. And my dad made me sit at the table for like an hour trying to make me eat it because I had to have it because my sister had it, even though he, I knew I didn't like it and I've got a fear about it ever since because I think the texture is absolutely disgusting. So I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, so also we've got, let me know in the comments, don't know what this is. Uh, it's got like a, like a potato chip sort of texture. The whole thing together, really delicious. I can see what's so popular. Is it hot? Yeah, ish. It had like a pot keeping the rice congi warm and it was just, obviously, it, it wasn't on the heat. And you just keep it, keep it warming out and just dish it out. It wasn't too busy, but I, I, I don't know if people eat their breakfast earlier here. But yeah, good way to start the day. This was 15,000, which I think is really good. And it's a really good big size as well. And I think it's really big for a breakfast. You want to try a bit? I'm going to try it on off the camera. I'm a little bit skeptical, but especially where it said there's salt in it, but nice. I'm going to go for a bit without the chili sauce because I've had enough chili sauce out here. All right, I'm just going to try a bit of the rice, say rice pudding, see? Reminds me of it. It tastes like stock. Royce in a stock, like a broth. That's salty what, though, isn't it? Uh, not too salty, that's the broth though. And it's got like, a little bit of kick from the top. So it's actually not that bad, but it's a sludgy consistency with the rice that just, it, it ain't more kind of thing. Oh, I like more rice like, cooked, not sludgy, but it is nice. Would I eat it? No. There you go, Ben, you enjoy it. And you know, like, we're not breakfast people anyhow, and I'm, I'm not woken up enough to eat food. Yeah, so you can eat any time of the day. <laughs> chicken. Literally on the side of the road, right next to school, they're selling chickens and fish. So weird. <laughs> the pets I see. Yeah, but it's the beginning of the day. They're going to take it into school and then take it over the night. I don't know. It's very unusual. I've never seen that before. It's really cool. I'd definitely be buying, getting one every day. <laughs> Golden rule here in Asia. Follow the locals and then you get across. Ben, are we going that way? We're going that way. Oh, Ben's going without me. you cross the road. We're on our way to the Grand Mall. We noticed these roundabouts. I read up on them. 
they actually from above they look like the eye which is the freemasons logo so it's like a big conspiracy theory about them so it's quite interesting really as we're in the rich district where like all the bids and saw the tall buildings and skyscrapers you have to go to a mall we decided to go to one of the best malls here grand indonesia it's got over 200 shops and i don't know how many floors but let's go and explore it because so you know me i love a mall following this crowd of office people, they know what they're doing. Where are they going? Go, go, go. So we're in the mall and it is so big. There's like an east mall and a west mall. We're here. And it's so big, but they let Ben in. He's um, got his mask, and he said, "I'll oh, just make sure you go to the camera to get one." So we'll try and find where the Watsons is, so you can go buy one. But it's really confusing, isn't it? So many floors. I think there's about five floors, but there's a ground, upper ground, and a one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this one's like wine. It's a seven. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But it goes up to five. Oh, well, this one's like wine. This bit seems really posh. Let's go and find where like H and M and a bit more regular shops is. There's like Coach and Louis Vuitton and things we can't even like look at. I can comprehend. Uh, I think we can cut through here. I'm not sure. Here we go. We've actually come out now. It's like so confusing. They're like blocked. You gotta go back down an escalator, up an escalator. We just can't work it out. Still haven't found. We were trying to find Watsons. It's the main shop. Yeah, down there. That's a make we like over there. Berka. Brush, brush cut? How do you say it? Brush cut. Brush cut. It's very affordable and it kind of reminds us like HM, but it's not a style that everyone has. But it's quite good in there, but I ain't got that type of money. No. Goggle masks. 15. Not bad. Essential, but I think we're sort of coming to the end of this, don't you? I like how you just come off the busy mental road and then you just come down this quiet street. You hear the birds going and it's all just green with trees and just a lot more calmer. <laughs> right, so we just saw a street blend there, we just frying some stuff up. I think this is called Gorengan, it's like fried food, but I've got like a, a variation of different ones, so you're gonna have to help me out. Leave it in the comments what it is because I'm not sure. I've got no data on my phone, so I can't even research it. But we'll start we'll with. We just have to go for the taste. Go for the taste. This one. So I'm going to guess what this is, but should I eat it first then, guess? Go on, no guess. I, I think it might be like some sort of like, like chicken skin or something. No. <laughs> I don't think it was. What I think it is, let me know if I'm wrong, I think it's like roast flour with smashed soya beans, maybe. But let me know. It's my turn to pick one and I'm gonna go for the spring roll looking one. I'm hoping it's sweet, but I highly doubt it. I'm gonna break it. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that. It's um glass noodles in it. Alright, sorry the battery died on the GoPro, so we're back. It's quite boring. It's just literally um like pastry on the outside and the glass noodles. We got a bit of chili, so I'm gonna be daring. I need a tiny bit. Not even worth it to be honest. I'm too scared. Hmm, it makes it better. It's definitely worth adding the chili to it, even if it is a tiny bit like me. But no, it's quite like simple. So I'm going for this one. We've got literally five things. No idea what this is. It reminds me of like a uh, sugar rock. <laughs> but it's nothing like that because it's soft, but let's try it. I'm not really sure, but it's got like a little bit of a garlic hint to it. A crunch on the outside now, it? it's got like that chewy. Uh. Yeah. It's that, it's that flour that's in quite a lot of food out here. It's actually quite nice. I thought it was going to be really bad, but this had more flavor than the spring roll. Get Ben to do the last one. So the fifth one is the tofu, but we've ate that on another video before, so. Yeah, so. This tofu. So this is like, it looks like deep fried and it looks like there's like chives and stuff in there maybe probably some onion there's loads of onion it's almost like an onion bhaji that's the best thing i've eaten that's fine so we got all of these five things snacks for ten thousand 
good little start off. I think we're gonna go for something sweet next though. So there was literally just a food stand on the side of the road, down just like a side road. It's not even like a busy road, but there's like workmen going on around there. So I think they like corner park where they see people working. So they know when they go on the lunch break and that, they'll pop out. Clever. I like it. Ben's just munching away on the snacks. We are actually sat on a bush, but next on the random whatever happens street food tour, Batagor, right? These actually come from Bangdong originally. I think we did try them in Bangdong and they're just like fried things and they come with like a, a satay sauce. I've got like the mix, so I think it's gonna have tofu, fish, different meat, I'm not sure. But let's see, right? There's the first one. Oh, the, that sauce is beautiful. What he does, he pours the actual sauce in the bag and then it just basically, if you see, just sort of sits on top of it. They're all different ones. This one looks like tofu to me. Yeah. The flour, I assume it's um, like a roast flour, they fry it in. So it makes it crispy and oh, it's so nice. Really good. Not sure. These are the ones I saw him cooking in the deep fryer. It was kind of like a square pastry and then he was putting something like sloppy in the middle. I have no idea what it was. It looked like batter to me, so I've been wanting to try this. So that's the thing he was deep fat frying. It's, um, he cut all these up for us. Oh, it's really nice. I'm not really sure what's in the middle of it, but as Ben says, that sauce goes really nice with it. And we've got like a spicy sauce and a soy sauce in it. And it mixes really well. So this is literally a made up food tour because it's the last day here and we've kind of gone, all right, let's try as much food as we haven't tried already. And we're just looking around and just seeing what we can find and just going up to random food stands and trying it. But that whole bag was 10,000. We got such an awful fly. We don't fly until 12.30 a.m. tonight. So we're heading to the airport probably about nine o'clock in the evening. So we actually kept our hotel today and we'll be checking out of our hotel at nine o'clock, even though we've got until tomorrow night in. And we don't land until, I think, 6 a.m. tomorrow in our new country, which is gonna be Philippines. We're gonna be sending the next month exploring the Philippines. Okay, the last two dishes we want to try is in this restaurant and we feel like it's a bit too posh for us. <laughs> so they've got like waters on the table. I'm guessing you get like charged how many you drink at the end, I think. I'm not sure, but... Okay, so that place was... Oh, I don't know what it was, but it's... um, I don't know, they started putting loads of random food on our table. We're like, no, no, we don't want that. There was like 10 dishes coming out in bowls. <laughs> it's obviously like... I don't know, I'm not sure. But we're like, no, 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 it left. Um, but they had on the door outside like these dishes and then when we were like no no we're coming you come over then with like a little menu with packs with them food on we were like no no we're going now because we don't know what's going on so we're not sure what that was but now we have to find them dishes but I'm still not on. I don't know where to get them from and we're running out of time we need to go back to our room in a bit and start packing <laughs> So we're going to finish off with a couple of iced teas and some sweet treats. Just get these and then we'll try it for you. Yeah. This is well nice. This is lemon iced tea. We've got two of these for 2000 and this is the nicest iced tea I've had out here actually. It's really cold and refreshing and I'm so thirsty. Okay, we're going to have to finish it so off with something different. We couldn't find none of the Rotty Bakers, which we were so wanted to try, but we've literally ran out of time. Like We haven't got time to go searching for them, I'm afraid. So we've gone for the next best thing. It is kind of like a green pancake. We've been seeing them around. There's like an incident. I think this bloke here, I don't think his, his brakes don't work, I don't think. But I think, I think he's um he's got his foot on the clutch. <laughs> they can't move it. We're gonna finish this off trying it with this like pancake thing. Um, I watched him make it, it's in like a little round pot and it just leaves the same stuff, he spreads it out and it just leaves that as a puddle in the middle. I'm guessing it's like roast flour, something like that, same kind of consistency, like a dough. Sorry, there's like showing people through. Gilly means stop. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Okay, so we've moved as you can see. It just, I don't know what was going on there, but there's literally a car about to like run us over on the side. So we're like, let's move. So um, yeah, we tried that pancake. It was all right. It's quite um, basic, um, not a lot of flavor. Maybe we put some sugar, a bit of chocolate spread on there. 
see this cat once in Kinda wanna eat her. So next we've got like a packet of like I'm gonna hope the bloody chocolate because I've been wanting chocolate all day. Oh, look at it. So like chocolate kinda like cakey. If you rip it apart, kinda reminds me of like a scone kind of texture. It's not really springy like a um like a sponge cake. It's got a bit more of toughness. Try it. Kind of reminds me of rare batter taste. It's really like, yeah, like rare batter. Like rare, Yorkshire rare pudding, batter. kind of like Yorkshire pudding mix. But thick, and then you got, I didn't really get no chocolate, chocolate in the last one. A little bit of like dark chocolate on top, which goes really well with it. It takes away like the such strong batter flavor. They're really nice actually. I'd like warm them up probably and have a cup of tea with them. But we got these and this, sorry, this pancake looks a little bit sad now. For 20,000 on a just little stand around the corner from us. Right, so we're going to finish the video here. Tomorrow we travel to a brand new country, so make sure you don't miss it. And also, if you enjoyed our food tour, make sure you watch the video I'm going to put in the end screen because there's another food tour here in Indonesia. Subscribe. She does look fun to be there. Alright. As we're in the Riz. Riz? The Riz Kondi. Kondi. This is the Royce Kondi. Kongi. <laughs> Kongi. Decided to go to one of the best malls here, the Grand Indonesia. <laughs> right. <laughs> Literally. Right. Wasn't expecting that. Is that on me properly, Ben? Yeah. I can see it's angled. I spent it all. <laughs> A little bit of like dark chocolate on the night. Oh. 